Hello everyone, this is Frank. I recently, last week, received my brand new Asus eSlate EP121. It is a tablet computer running Windows 7, uh, a Core i5 processor with 4 gigs of RAM, a 64 gigabytes uh, SSD drive. Um, the Core i5 is obviously a ultra low, ultra low voltage version um, since it's running on batteries. The battery time is about three hours, two and a half hours, three and a half hours depending on use. Um, it's quite lightweight, a bit more heavy than the usual uh, tablet computer that we're used to. The screen is quite shiny but it still works quite well outdoors. We have a number of ports, USB port, HDMI port, HDMI port volume rocker power and some other buttons. Most of you who are interested in this stuff already know about the slate. It has a nifty holder for the uh, stylus, so it supports both multi-touch with two fingers on the screen and uh, and the stylus. Since I suffer from um, some suffer from um, uh, more or less permanent RSI, I use uh, voice recognition for controlling most of my computer work. Uh, so in this video, I will try to present both the tablet, uh, how it works, uh, and uh, how I uh, integrate it into my workflow with uh, with voice recognition. I usually keep it in the folio that uh, came with the product, which protects the screen and serves as a stand. And for now, it's sufficient for for my needs. Maybe I want to have a more uh, permanent stand at my office later but we'll see about that. So it fits quite nicely and stands up like this. Let's just see that uh, you actually see it on the video uh, without too much glare in the screen like that. So let's just move the lamp a bit. So let's boot it up. It also comes with a pretty nifty uh, Bluetooth keyboard from, um, from Microsoft. So I'll keep that a bit on the side there. For a voice input, the internal sound system is insufficient, so I have an a Andrea USB sound pod with a Sennheiser ME3 microphone. And uh, for convenience, I just Velcro the USB pod to the back of the folio, so it always sticks to the computer if I try to move it around uh, and such. So I use a combination of um, Dragon Naturally Speaking together with Show Numbers Plus, as you see there, uh, and Natlink, Unimacro, Vocola, and also uh, something from Dragonfly to, to control uh, subversion. So, um, as you can see, the screen is quite bright and nice, 12 inches, which is sufficient for uh, almost everyday work. I'll fire up Dragon. So you will notice that the um, Core i5 is, although it's it's more one of the most powerful tablet computers, but for speech recognition it is slightly underpowered. Um, it copes fine with the best match four algorithm of, of version 11 premium of Dragon, naturally speaking, but it automatically automatically puts the slider all the way to fast and disabled uh, a number of natural voice commands in in Word. And uh, office applications for uh, for performance. Um, I'll just plug in the power as well. Maybe that has an effect on performance. Uh, this seems to be taking some time now. Let's just talk about the power brick. It's quite uh, quite small and light, with a separate uh, USB outlet for uh, powering some USB device. Now we're getting somewhere. Is the video a bit crooked, do you think? So I'll try to film all this in one go without having to uh, edit anything afterwards to save my arms from uh, having to interact with the computer. So, as a researcher, most of my work tasks uh, evolve around reading papers, commenting on papers, and writing my own papers with the uh, figures and such. So I thought I would just lead you through 
my latest workflow since that's the markup I use for, for, docu for uh, documents and also just briefly show you a bit around the folder navigation which is now available in uh, Unimacro. Um, the Unimacro allows us to or allows me to specify a number of folders which I wanted to index so it allows me to access all the subfolders in these folders directly without having to be in a be in an explorer window in the first place uh, all other folders I can navigate as usual by just saying folder and folder name and it will bring me there I can also use the same functionality to open files in specific programs with the with an open with command and I'll demonstrate that as well wake up folder my documents folder Mendeley desktop folder up close window folder Mendeley desktop folder my documents close window folder Unimacro installation page down to file folders open with edit plus file folders open with notepad stop listening so apparently the open with command is not uh, <coughs> currently working as it should but uh, never mind it will be fixed soon enough I think so let me now just guide you through a quick um, latex workflow demonstration. I use uh, Technic Center for um, as an IDE, but it doesn't have select and say or uh, any support for voice at all. So there are a few commands I use to switch all things over to Word, which I have uh, added syntax highlighting to through a Visual Basic script I found on the speech uh, computing forum. So I'll just show you briefly how I've been able to automate my latex workflow. Wake up. Folder demonstration. Down 7. Enter. Edit all latex. And for some reason this, the first time, is a bit slow at the moment, uh, but it works, so um, just bear with me and we'll get this working uh, more quickly afterwards. I've created a small um, skeleton here and I'll just fill it in by, uh, by voice for you. Insert after document, close place, choose one, down. Cap demonstrating the Echo Papa No Space 121 with voice recognition. Cap that. Make title. My name. Make author. Set title. New line. Cap introduction. Make section. Up, enter up. So this is where I can start writing all the things I uh, think are neat about uh, strike, strike. So this is where I can write all the neat things I like about the Echo Piper 121 tablet. Full stop. As you can see, comma it makes a few recognition mistakes, comma, but most of the time it is quite good. Full stop. I have several latex macros built in Vocola, comma, and I will now demonstrate the one for building lists and including figures and references. Full stop. Insert after introduction. 
choose to close space bottom backspace to up end of line these are a few of the things I like about the Echo Papa 121 colon begin itemize cap it is very portable new item it is quite powerful for a tablet new item the screen is great new item it allows a lot of input options which avoids straining the arms too much full stop select loss choose one down format document page down up enter I can also insert figures and reference these figures from the text full stop new line begin figure make figure label demonstration new line insert graphics navigate one 0 0.9 navigate two demonstration down enter I can also reference the cap figure make figure reference demonstration end of line full stop edit ready ArtRage Studio is an art program uh, which uh, allows me to draw with a stylus uh, you can show the touch sensitivity, the pressure sensitivity of uh, of it uh, using uh, watercolors um, that was a bit messy so uh, this is me, I'm happy with some arms although I don't have to use them too much um, and let me just export that and import it to to, to um, have it in the folder. I already have a demonstration file which I created earlier. But anyway, wake up, demonstration, enter, left enter, close window. folder demonstration show numbers right click 47 up 3 enter enter down 3 enter crop selection file save enter left enter cancel show numbers right click 15 press November press November right up to enter up 3 enter left enter close window switch to Technic Center compile 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 view output 
stop listening. Right, so this is the uh, PDF I created. Um, the figure reference didn't work because it actually, um, if you look at uh, here, it capitalized the uh, the reference. So there are, as always, small things to iron out. Uh, and here is the figure I uh, imported, and and um, that's that. That's it. So when I've created the um, the the document, I want to revise it, so I need to read it and edit it. So I can do this also with a stylus. Wake up close window, folder demonstration, show numbers, right click 47, right click 47, right click 47, down to enter, full screen, stop listening. So this is PDF annotator. It allows me to draw in the PDF documents with a stylus. It's a good opportunity to um, view the um, the accelerometer controlled orientation. So I can review the document and I can say that uh, fix this and uh, uh, move this upwards instead of having it on a separate file, and then I can save. Uh, I can save this, and uh, and when I now want to uh, want to um, want to ed uh, edit the original LaTeX source again, I can open this file in uh, regular uh, PDF. Uh, Adobe Reader and um, on a separate screen and just view everything at the same time and now we switch back to uh, landscape again so basically that's the workflow for uh, creating latex uh, papers and navigating the folders and all that stuff um, there are also there's also a bunch of other stuff I could have demonstrated like uh, like uh, subversion control with the dragonfly module, um, more about the folders, keystrokes, um, lots of stuff. But um, that's it for now. I'll um, I've provided links to all the uh, tools I mentioned um, in the description of the video. So thank you for watching.